Hi, welcome to another Safety Minute. My name is Kelly Siever and I'm the Procurement Manager here at One Energy. And today I'm gonna to be talking about PPE. So at One Energy, we have teams of employees that build, operate, and maintain wind turbines. So um, our employees might be pouring a foundation one day, they could be installing either a low voltage or a high voltage cable system. They use heavy equipment to rig and erect wind turbines, so they need to be outfitted with the proper PPE in order to stay safe. Um, today I'm gonna kinda go over uh, the items that we issue for new hires here at One Energy. Um, First, we have hearing protection. So um, our employees could be involved in um, an activity that would require them to have hearing protection, like they could be uh, torquing a tower, or they could be working next to an air compressor that's going on all day long. Um, so we wanna make sure that if, if needed, they have uh, hearing protection so there's no hearing loss. Um, we also have safety glasses. Um, we have different styles. We try to keep um, all the different tints available to our employees, whether it be like a full sunglass, safety glass. Um, we have like smoke or pearl tinted lenses. And we also have clear. Uh, these clear safety glasses are also fog resistant, which is really helpful um, when you're climbing because they tend to fog up. Uh, these here are little side shields for safety glasses. Um, or you can put them on regular glasses and they help with debris coming in the sides. Uh, next we have hard hats. Uh, lots of different styles again with hard hats. We typically uh, use a full brim hard hat uh, with the four point ratcheting system. So this allows the wearer to have it on and loosen and tighten it with this guy right here um, to provide the best, best fit. Um, this hard hat is rated uh, G and E for general and electric, which means it uh, protects the wear up to 20,000 volts. Um, this model here by 3M has uh, an indicator on it that will change color when it has been exposed to too much UV rays. It can cause the shell to become brittle and uh, not be safe for the wear. Next we have gloves. So lots of different types of gloves here at One Energy. Uh, we have cut resistant gloves. We have um, Kevlar coated gloves if they're working with chemicals. Um, these here are just kind of a typical work glove. We keep them in unlined and lined. Um, they're really soft and um, pliable and good to work with. Um, this here is more of a Vinsolet uh, cold weather glove for when it gets really cold out. Um, and these here are climbing gloves. And they have like extra padding here in order to grip rope better and are really handy when you're climbing. Um, we also keep uh, low voltage and high voltage gloves here for our teams that work in on electrical equipment. So we have a thousand volt rated gloves. We have 20 kV rated gloves and 40 kV. This here, pair is a 20 kV pair of gloves. And over those, you would use a leather protector. Um, these are so that the gloves don't get damaged in any way and they stay clean and um, dielectrically safe. Next, we have boots. So when evaluating a pair of boots, we look for, are they puncture resistant? Do they have good metatarsal and ankle support? Um, steel toe or composite toe, um, weatherproof, um, breathability, um, having a good pair of boots is um, really important. Uh, these here is like a standard work boot with steel toe. Um, and these are what we call a muck boot. Um, great for rainy, muddy conditions. These also have a steel toe. Um, some of the people that do a lot of climbing, they keep an extra pair of climbing shoes or boots. These are a steel toe as well. Um, that way we can keep the insides of the wind turbines clean. They can switch out their boots if they're going to climb. And sometimes they're a little bit more athletic uh, since climbing can be um, a lot of work. Um, 
Our teams work in all different kinds of weather conditions. They see some very uh, warm temperatures and very cold temperatures. For uh, winter protection, we provide um, all of our technicians and system operators uh, lined thermal bibs and a thermal coat. These are Carhartts. Um, we have hats, we have ear coverings, um, and we also supply a lot of different um, packets, heating packets, whether it be for toe warmers, foot, uh, there's body warmers. Um, we actually have some um, heated clothing that we've issued to some of our employees, like heated vests, shirts, pants. Those are really neat, and socks. Uh, next, we have rain gear. Uh, so these are high-vis rain gear jackets. This one's uh, a little more uh, for colder conditions. Um, it has a, an, sorry, <laughs> it has an insert um, that can go in here. And uh, this, they have uh, the reflective tape on both of them. This is just a lighter jacket um, for the rainy season. And we have pants. Um, we also issue a safety vest to everyone, again, in high vis with the reflective um, tape on it. The office personnel gets um, a vest as well. Uh, we supply all the office personnel with a vest and a hard hat and safety glasses and steel toed boots because um, sometimes I may have to go out to the yard while work is being done and I need to have on the proper PPE. Um, we also get to go to job sites and maybe watch a rotor being flown, which is really cool. So if we ever did that, definitely have to be in a vest, hard hat, all the PPE gear that's required to be on site. One Energy's top priority is keeping its employees safe, and they do this by supplying all this PPE and keeping it readily available for their employees. Thanks for your time. Stay safe.